raids, busts, shutdowns of dispensaries across the city tonight. But are they worth it? Well, about from May 2016 to December 2017, there were 600 people arrested in Toronto alone from marijuana dispensary raids, illegal dispensary raids. Now, I've, of those uh, people arrested, 298 employees who worked at those dispensaries have had their charges withdrawn or stayed. And it begs the question, are all these arrests simply a big bust? Many of the employee arrests were, were unnecessary and ultimately didn't result in any kind of conviction. So certainly there was more money spent than there needed to be and many more people arrested than there needed to be. In fairness to police, they were facing what had been uh, an aggressive proliferation of illegal operations in the city. You would get just your, your general employees and sometimes even customers caught up in the raids, although customers were generally not charged. So owners were generally walking away. Yeah, sometimes owners were multi, multiple provinces away and were, were never pursued. Now, defense lawyer Kendra Stanion also adds that many of the owners who were busted have been or are awaiting prosecution, and that will likely leave them on the outside looking in if they try and get a license to run a legal retail marijuana store in the province in the months ahead. As for the employees who had their charges stayed or withdrawn, it might still show up on their RCMP background check, but they have a much better chance of getting a piece of the pot pie. In May of 2016, just before the initial dispensary raids began, I asked Chief Mark Saunders if his force was going to crack down on the rise of illegal weed shops in Toronto. On that spring day, his answer was no. Do I utilize resources towards this only for the end game where things are going to get thrown out of court? And then the criticism is, well, why did you invest, you know, resources, tax resources? We now know the chief did the exact opposite of what he told us. Days later, on May 26, 2016, officers in teams of four to six raided and shut down 43 dispensaries as part of Project Claudia. As Chief Saunders predicted, the cost and use of resources is being questioned. City News asked Toronto Police today what the total bill was for the raids. They didn't answer our question. The co-owner of an illegal dispensary that is still operational tonight did agree to speak with us. He was part of the arrest in 2016. His charges were dropped. It, it, to me, it's just a big joke. The arrest, what you went through before, hasn't deterred you this time? Has not. Um, they knew it themselves when they came out there and they arrested and raided everyone. And they spent all that money on all those raids just for everything to be expunged, for everything to be withdrawn all that money that could have been spent on, on useful, resourceful stuff. Instead, instead, it, um, you know, it, it, in, a, in a sense, kind of backfired on them because now they spent all that money which could have went to somewhere good. Now, another spot where defense lawyer Kendra Stanion believes Toronto police missed their mark is that she says they didn't focus in enough on illegal dispensaries being run by organized crime. Now, again, we reached out to Toronto police today for comment. They did not respond to my email.